I'm going to try and not to lie to you, he told himself in the mirror, day in and day out. At least so much as your soul is capable of suffering the truth. You are the saboteur of yourself. Wasn't often he used that tone of voice on himself, the change your ways or else tone of voice. And it took seconds to say, and he could warn himself a hundred times each on the trail of the memories and justification of vice that chased each other through the woods of his mind. Yet, in the 24-hour argument, what do a few minutes sway? How do they persuade the blinking eyes of a jury? The answer was in the power of the single sentence in a writer's of a single stroke in a painter's brush, blown glass and clay blown away, and Will had a degree of success, but the battle was one with him that would never end. That took a while to accept. He lied to himself to quite an age that there would come heaven on earth. Germanic bloodlines would have him work until death or until the day he could no longer. His stubbornness made and ruined him. And... He tasted little flavor in the preacher's visions of heaven, if you call them visions, and the Bible seemed to care that he believed, which made him skeptical. And his mother, well, she was his mother. Her mind was set long ago. She loved him as her son. Chapter 9 On All Hallows' Eve and the anniversary of the fallen river Phoenix, Will rode his bike to the festival of the red moon and walked into the crowd encircling young saints on their knees with bowls of blood in which they washed their hands, who then did stand, and the internalized and intense expressions on their faces gave way at once to thoughtless routine of branches broken into sticks by soft hands and gently tossed upon small fires over the dying season's grass that caught to small windowless wooden houses and waxed. The burning houses dispelled small columns of smoke which cast gray columns into blackened skies. He inched closer and made his way to the innermost edge of the rough circle where winged devils walked slow in cherry red corduroys and dissuaded the closing in of the crowd by gold dust, thrown or sprinkled over the circumference. The ritual pulled him in until he felt his heart beat in unison with the movement. There were women with whom he met eyes. Some looked as vulnerable as he felt.